Actually, no, I lied. Don't go home just yet. I feel like knowing you two, do we? What's the worst that could happen? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Did you know that this is the 30th episode of our Love Struck Legacy Let's Play Chaos, whatever the heck of this has been? Episode 30 on August 30th, and it is our season finale. Again, I say a season finale just because this was kind of started throughout the month of August. And don't worry, it's not going anywhere. It's coming back in September, and by that I mean it's coming back September 2nd. So, you know, you won't have to wait long, but it is officially time for us to have our final goal date. Slash a little bit more, slash a little bit more. This has been what we've been building up to. Manuel and Wesley are going to go on a final date, and they are going to uh, finally be husbands, which I've been calling them forever, but like, it, it's actually gonna happen. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we are back in the household. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, don't worry at all. A lot has happened, but not a lot you have to worry about. Essentially, we have done almost every love aspiration for Wesley Emerson. Throughout the entire month of August, the only thing he has left is soulmate to do, but in order to get to soulmate, he has to finish one more gold date. We have had six. We've had six different children with a multitude of different partners because we like chaos. We have risky woohoo on, so who knows what's gonna happen with that. Maybe we'll have more, but this household can hold more. I do have MC Command Center for that. And uh, we're just taking care of kids. Right now, the dads have finished two of their dates, so as you can see, Manuel is ready to be a soulmate, become an adult, and be married to his BFF. Wesley just has to go on one more date for his serial romantic aspiration and then we can go to soulmate and it will be the exact same thing just needs to be married to a bff so i'm just getting their needs kind of taken care of and then we'll be able to head out on that date the interesting thing is so normally we do makeovers on a sunday so today's friday tomorrow's saturday where we play our chaotic left play with winter baxter then sunday we usually do makeovers but i don't think anyone's gonna age up in time to need a makeover so we might do a wedding makeover which would be the entire family getting a makeover and I'm kind of excited for that as well. Our little baby Joy, who's the product of Father Winter, is up. What does she need to do? She's is going potty currently, but she also needs to go potty. So I'm going to have her do that. And then I'm going to have her do as many blocks as she can before we put her back to bed. Wesley should be getting up soon because he's hungry. Manuel is like pretty good with kind of everything that's going on. So that's exciting. Aliyah, you shouldn't just walk into someone's room. That's okay. We're a little dazed, which I don't love that from some mental burnout, but that won't be bad. I've got dad writing an advice column because he needs to for work and then he'll be done. Let's, are there no more leftovers? Okay, we probably should serve lunch. I'm just gonna replace it. It's not worth the money that I would cost. So serve lunch. Manuel, you're gonna wake up. You're not gonna go to work today. So sorry. Not not the vibe. It's 2 p.m. on a Friday. The kids aren't quite home yet, but that's okay. We are going to uh we're gonna go on our date. All right, so Jamie's above average on her way. Jared is back from school. How is everyone doing? The last episode we did lock the children out of the home to have an internal date. So I can understand why they're kind of all miserable, but hopefully they'll be able to take care of themselves. They don't have to do homework until, you know, they get back from the weekend. So um, Manuel is going to be like, hey, honey, what if we went on a date? Just a thought. Just a thought. Let's get out of the house. Let's go hang out. Boss is calling, should you pick up? Mm, no, we're going on a date. We're skipping work, sorry. I'm trying to think of like a romantic place to go. I kind of want to go to like Tartosa, but that could be where the wedding is. Do we stay in San Sequoia? That's where, th not San Sequoia. Do we stay in Ciudad and Morada? Maybe we do. Maybe we go to the park where we found the engagement ring because also in a previous episode, we actually found the Riz ring that our lovely Manuel has. So we're gonna activate our Riz ring because why not? And then let's just, you know, have some fun. Let's enjoy an actual date for once. We gotta get them both flirty. You're feeling very playful, which is very cute. 
but we gotta do some some flirtatious things you know they're both very flirty perfect give your date a massage i don't know if there's actually a seat to do um oh yeah there is here we go uh sit together actually sit and chat here that would be good where did you go why did you go to the bathroom oh you activated your riz ring yeah yeah we activated our riz ring as one does let's give him a massage i think that's physical intimacy give massage they're cute i love them i love them so much okay tell your date a story i think that's under friendly stories helen and swap baby milestone because <gasps> dad does that count i don't think that's counted I don't think that counted. Where, how do I tell a story then? Funny stories? Tell a funny story? I kind of want to see you guys kiss again. I think these might actually be better. I love that they can start doing things like laying down or sitting. Um, okay. What we've learned is dates are a lot easier when you are, uh, when you don't create them yourself because we got a gold so fast. Okay, let's have one more deep conversation just so that way we've got it done. And then we are going to uh, change. So, Manuel, can we change our outfit to... What is this outfit? I just want to see it. I don't think I have seen all of their outfits. That's cute. Yep, okay. And then Wesley, can we please change your outfit? I forgot that I didn't give them any, like, quote-unquote good outfit. <laughs> or, like, a proposal. Yeah, um... Hmm. Interesting. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, maybe we weren't, we weren't fully ready. Here, we'll just do our regular everyday outfits. Why not? I thought, I thought maybe, but no, it's, it's everyday outfits. Okay. And then let's, Manuel, you're going to lead the charge. Is this... This is pretty. I'm sorry. Thicket Guthrie? Because we got rid of Sammy, we now have a new sad bear. Yeah, this is where we're gonna do it. Okay, I need you to go here together. Amazing. And then I gotta, I'm putting headline effects off. Hold on. If you didn't know that you could do that, there is a cheat. It's just called headline effects off to get rid of like the plumb bobs. So that way you can take some better screenshots. But then we are going to express our devotion to him and. Finally, break up. No, propose. I love that it says propose early. It's just propose. We're just gonna propose. I'm just taking all the screenshots. We're, it, it's the season finale. Oh, I'm obsessed with them! Look at how happy they are. And then they're so giddy! Oh, okay, we are officially engaged. Oh, Manuel and Wesley are together. I took so many, I took so many screenshots. I think I'm actually going to now have Wesley excuse you, ask if they can be exclusive. So let's see if we can ask to reconsider and ask to not accept woohoo from anyone else. It's gonna take a little bit to like get it. Honestly, perfect timing because now Manuel is very stinky. Manuel has reconsidered and will feel jealous after doing woohoo. And then Manuel, can you ask Wesley the same question? Just out of curiosity, change your ask to reconsider oh you have to ask each of them and be like okay will you also not do that and he says yeah we'll be loyal to just each other and then we gotta plan a cow plan um we're pretending like this was the ring that manuel used to propose so the ring is now in wesley's inventory as it should be oh i love them i love them all right do some neck kisses and one more lovingly dip kiss and then you can you know That was not a more perfect screenshot than I could have gotten in my life. Aspiration complete, trait earned player, so we'll never cause jealousy. Well, well, uh, OK. 
guy. You two are my everything right now. My everything. And so now we are officially done with the CL Romantic. We can both be soulmates and are both set to just needing to be married for a BFF. They do stay. You do stay. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. And let the kids know. Look at the little hearts. Stop it. Ooh, I'm so excited. But yes, both of you can go home. Oh, actually, no, I lied. Don't go home just yet. I feel like, I feel like knowing you two, do we? What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? You know, you just got engaged, like, and then you should both go use the restroom because you need it. Do I have them take a pregnancy test or do I let it surprise us? I think I let it surprise us. So now we have to plan a wedding. I need to think about like what we want. Do we build a wedding venue? Do we use a wedding venue? Do we just go to Tartosa and use the ones that they currently have? So many things to think about and so many things that I want to do with this let's play now. So just to give you kind of like an idea, uh, can we serve dinner? Let everyone know. Let's have it over. Hamburger slider. Wesley's like, I'm good. I'm flirty. Everything's fantastic. Let's take a look at the kids and then I'll give you an update of kind of like what I'm thinking. So everything's feeling a bit dirty. Could you, could you, who has the vacuum? Who has the vacuum? Do you have a vacuum? Vacuum around, vacuum lightly. Clean everything just a little bit. Why not? While well, dad's getting everything ready. Then you're hungry. You can just go take a shower and then you should be able to do your homework. You should do your homework. You should do your homework. You should do your homework. Thank you. You're also hungry, but that's fine because we've got stuff coming but, and you're going to the bathroom. Perfect. Um, okay, so just for like an idea, I don't know who the heir is going to be. Obviously, we need to get married. Um, we need to figure out just kind of like what their life looks like living together. I want to get Manuel up in his promotion. I want to finish the soulmate aspiration. Although if you look at this, like we've already earned two dates. We've already got the soulmate relationship. So we just have to like perform gestures. Hopefully we don't have to do three dates again. If we do, I'll probably just like speed run them so that way you don't have to worry about them. But while we would determine the air, I've been thinking about doing like little mini series spinoffs. You'll have to let me know what you think. Also, if you like this at all, please feel free to like comment and subscribe. Um, but I think I want to do like a mini series with like Jamie. So Jamie, although she wants to go to like all the, the different places and she's going to move out and do some city living stuff, like I want to explore city living with her and kind of tell a little bit of her story. And then I want to do like a little bit with like Jared and Jessica, just really kind of play it out, if that makes sense, and see what potentially could happen. Let's call everyone to a meal. I know all the little ones need food, so come grab some food just so that way you've got it. But that's kind of what I'm thinking is just to do a bunch of different things with them. I think we're still going to play with Wesley and Manuel. We're still going to have the chaos that we normally have, but I do want to give them some semblance of a story for each of these sims. Like I've got ideas for all of them. Like we've got our two adventurous girls who are going to go live together. We've got our child of the Isles who might go explore. Maybe he falls in love with Tartosa where his parents get married. We've got squeamish little Jessica. The squeamish doesn't tell me much, but I do have a story in mind. I just want to see what her like teen aspiration is. Jeffrey, who knows? Who knows? But uh, Joy, I've got some ideas. She's father's winter's baby after all. There's got to be something to do there. But I think as we're calling everyone to a meal, can we announce the engagement and then we can like ask everyone to be involved at the wedding, which will be absolutely adorable. Um, speaking of adorable, little waddlers, where are you going? You, oh, you just need, you need movement? Okay, here's the thing. What if we just slide? And then you, what if we just finished our thinking so that way we didn't have to worry about thinking ever again? Because that's the most tedious. That would be fantastic. So announce your engagement to your daughter. Let her know while you're eating your slider, of course. The family meal. You're going to tell her across the table. 
Seems to be fine with it. Seems to be fine with it. So with that, I think I'm going to leave episode 30 here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that the buildup was worth it. Our boys are now engaged, which means we get to have a wedding. We get to continue with this look play. And uh, we're going to do a makeover for literally every sim in this household to have a wedding outfit because I don't want to wait any longer. So that wedding is probably going to start really early in September. But I think with that, um, I appreciate you all. I will see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.